What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the best Grand Theft Auto video games. Let's get right into this. Up first is Grand Theft Auto Vice City. It was released in 2002, but it is set in 1986 in Vice City, which is a fictional city based on Miami. You play as Tommy Versetti after his release from prison, and he seeks out those who are responsible for putting him in there while building a criminal empire. So this game has a very interesting story. There's a whole bunch of different stuff you could do. I absolutely loved just having fun. I loved going into the mall and finding the samurai sword, and I also just loved wreaking havoc. But in this one here, there is some supercars that are actually undercover police cars and you don't know it until they're on you. So it's very interesting. The story is great and I love the whole 80s, 90s vibe in this game. Next up is Grand Theft Auto 3. It was released in 2001 and it is set in Liberty City, which is based on New York City. You play as Claude after he is left for dead and quickly becomes entangled in gangs, crime, and corruption. This game here, I didn't enjoy it so much for the graphics and the mechanics of the game, but I absolutely love the gameplay and the story, which is why I wanted to add it to this list, because it is very interesting as things develop in the game for your character of everything that you find out about him. So I absolutely loved this game. Next up is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It was released in 2004, and in my opinion, this is the best Grand Theft Auto game ever made. It was so large, so many things to do, but with today's games, the graphics just don't compare. It is set in the 90s in San Andreas, which is based on California and Nevada. You play as CJ, who is a former gangster who is brought back home after his mother's death, and you try to find out the truth behind the death while also getting back in the mix of gangs and different things like that. It includes gang wars, car modifications, burglary missions, mini games, gambling missions. You can play pool, go to the gym, and arcade games. So it had so many different things that you can do in this game, which is why I consider it to be the best game because a lot of these things like getting buff in a gym, future Grand Theft Autos just did not include things like that. So this game had a lot of very interesting things in it. Next up is Grand Theft Auto 4. It was released in 2008, and it is once again set in Liberty City, which aka is New York. I've already mentioned that. You get to play as a war veteran, Nico Bellic, who is very iconic in the whole franchise, who he tries to escape from his past while under pressure from loan sharks and mob bosses. In this game, it has very interesting things that have not been seen in GTA ever since. Things like bowling, darts, and vigilante missions, which are basically assassination missions. It was very interesting, a lot of fun, but for this one here, I felt like it was constricted. You didn't have car modifications, you can purchase vehicles, you could purchase apartments throughout the city. However, you can park and find vehicles and park them in two spaces out front of your house. But if those vehicles are destroyed, you no longer have access to them. So you basically just found vehicles, put them in your garage, uh, put them in the parking spots. You couldn't paint them. So that was iffy. But the story of you being a Russian or European uh, gangster, I thought that was awesome. And the last game I want to mention is the last game that was released, Grand Theft Auto 5. It was originally released in 2013. It came out on the PS4 in 2014, and it's just a huge game. The online went incredible. It's still going strong with so many things, and they have whole bunch of different updates that have always continued so many things from heist bunker missions biker gang stuff that you can go and purchase online so many things to do along with races and other things like that it is set back in san andreas but the map completely changed instead of it being like san andreas 2004 game the map is completely changed instead of it being basically three different parts it's all one huge map you follow three criminals, Michael, Trevor, and Franklin. So to change perspective from the three characters, I thought that was a little different, but I got used to it and absolutely loved it at the end. And you get to see their efforts to commit 
heist together. So it's very interesting to see everybody work together, the three characters, and how it worked gameplay and mechanics wise. Now with GTA Online, you get to create a character, you get to complete missions, buy clothes, cars, customize your character, and play with friends. You can create custom jobs, races, and just have fun, do so many different things, and just have a blast with it. So this is the game that I spent the most hours on ever since it came out. I don't play it much any anymore because I pretty much got burnt out on the game. I played it so much. It is definitely one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto games, but my all-time favorite Grand Theft Auto game will always be Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I loved Grand Theft Auto 5 because it had new graphics, it looked more realistic, newer cars in it, but San Andreas just had so much more you can do in it, and it's so much more iconic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me sharing what the best Grand Theft Auto video games are. Comment down below if there's any other Grand Theft Auto video games that you guys liked as well. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.